My quest for an extraordinary puzzle took me to the Pearl of the Orient Seas. It is said that this puzzle contains a treasure directly linked to these islands. I searched for days and I finally found it. Hello puzzle lovers and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the intro. I went to the Philippines two years ago not to get today's puzzle, but to visit my wife's family. And the footage are from a place in Mindanao called Shargao, a very nice place for surfers and nature lovers. Which brings us back to today's puzzle. Made by Filipino puzzle designer Rex Rosano Perez, this puzzle, called Mindanao, is named after one of the three groups of islands in the Philippines. I am so glad that there are so many puzzle designers all around the world and I have a chance to try to solve their puzzles. This puzzle is Rex's 10th sequential discovery puzzle. It is made of colored acrylic sheets and it is a sequential discovery puzzle. So we should find tools along the way to help us to solve this puzzle. I know that you are very curious about this puzzle. Guess what? It is time to solve the Mindanao. And here it is, the Mindanao puzzle. It looks so nice and also the feeling, it's, it's really such a neat puzzle. So nice, it has this kind of uh, mirror effect. I love it so much. I'm quite excited to try to solve this sequential discovery puzzle. Uh, I'm sure it will be a lot of fun and there are a lot of history behind it. So the goal of this puzzle is to find the star. And actually this is very nice because it is related to Mindanao directly because there are three stars on the Philippine flag and each star represents each group of islands. So you have Mindanao, Visayas and Luzon. Really nice and I really love the fact that the goal is directly related to the puzzle and to the puzzle designer origin. Love it, so let's just try to solve it. There are a couple things that you can already notice uh, on this puzzle. So you have this all here and you also have another all here. That's on uh, bottom and top part. Nothing on the side. Also on the top part, you can see this kind of cut here. So I feel this piece, but it's kind of moving already. But this piece will maybe come off at some point. Then on the front, I don't know, you have this kind of uh, hexagonal shape. I don't know if that's just part of the design. Maybe we will see the star. That will be very funny actually, the star will come just in front here. And then on the bottom, you have this kind of all design. Uh, there is an interesting fact about it that I will talk about later because Rex told me that there is something else related also again to the history of Mindanao. I really love everything around this puzzle. Uh, I'm sure it will be so much fun to solve and we can just try to solve this puzzle. So also we can hear a pin, there is a pin. Like, if you move the puzzle left to right, you can feel there is a pin in the middle going on one side to the other. And I think actually, yeah, the pin was looking bad. Okay, so we have this first move and we can, we can kind of see something just here. But... Oh, okay, okay. I think, okay, so the pin might get into this more than once and now you have the first tool maybe the only tool i don't know but you have one tool and that's where i can tell you more about this oil and this tool so this tool represents a sword and this oil represents a target why because these two represent the moral conflict in the philippines this conflict is between the philippine government and the muslim rebel groups in mindanao and it is still happening until today. That's very interesting. So yeah, that's a target and that's a sword. Very nice touch again to this puzzle. So we said that, okay, so more is happening. I think this pin is going in and out of this part here. I don't know until where we can remove it or oh, even more. Okay, so something dropped. Okay, it was locked at some point. Yeah, it's locked. Interesting. Okay, so I cannot do more. I can put it back if I want. 
but there is something else than the pin now. It's kind of going. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is like a ball. Okay, in between, we can kind of see a bit, but I don't know what is it. Oh, wait. Okay, I can see something getting in front. If I do that, there is another tool inside of this acrylic part, yeah. And this is dropping from the back side of the puzzle to the front side. You cannot see it, the space between the sheets is very thin. So, okay, so let's just try it again. Keep it like this, maybe? Okay, let's keep it like this, and now we can maybe use the store to use inside of this. It fits. <laughs> okay, I ejected something, I'm not sure what. I eject them and what if I do it on the other side? No. Okay, so maybe that is still up. But we did something here. Yes. I don't know if I need to put that back maybe. Okay, let's, let's just try to do that. So we put that back. And I can still see there is something between this acrylic part here and the middle one. I don't know, I cannot see what it is. There is something on the way of a sword. Can I, I will try to push. It doesn't work. I can feel again. Okay, so I can push this on one side or another side. Yeah. There is a round. Yeah, I don't know if it was there before, but if I really take a close look in between, uh, in the gaps, I can see so, uh, a part. There is like a round part that is traveling around. It's quite hard to, to see. So now I can see it. I can see like a round part just, just there, below this white window. Ryan Little. <laughs> I think I just found out the solution of this puzzle. If what I am thinking is right, then the solution is just so unique and so amazing. Before we try to see if my thought is correct, I would like to recap what is happening in this puzzle because it's not that hard. So you have this main part here that can get inside of this puzzle or outside. Then you find your tool, which is the sword, and there is one more part. One more part that you can see through this hole, the target. You can see a white coin. And this white coin is inside of this. Like the sword, there is a cut for this coin. And this coin is quite special because first, it has different colors on each side. One side is white and the other is black. But guess what shape is cut into the coin? A star. I think we found our star, but not exactly how the designer of this puzzle would like us to find it. This coin can travel from this side of the puzzle, where the target is, to the front part. When you play with this part of the puzzle, you get your sword, but also you can put your coin just here, in this white window. And it's where I think we will see our star. So I put it. For that, I just need to drop the coin, and it will drop in the middle part of the puzzle. So you need to be careful that you remove the lock. There is a lock in between. You drop your coin just in front and then with a sword, you lock the coin in this window like this. So the lock goes back on top. So the coin stays still in front of the puzzle. You can see it through this gap in between of the layers. You, you see the coin. 
and it was quite tricky to see the coin actually and to see the colors of it because I had to look through this hole here. So I will put back that how it was at the beginning and it's where we should see our star. I think you are not ready for that. I hope I am right. If it is, that's so unique and so amazing. So what you need to do is simply put the puzzle next to a light. So I will keep the puzzle next to the light for a few seconds, even minutes. And when we will turn off the light, I hope that we will see the star. Because yes, I think the coin is actually fluorescent. And when the lights will be off, a shining star will be seen through this hexagonal white window. Now it is time to turn off the lights. So I will start with the main one. So let's turn off our second light. I hope I am right. And yes, look at that. The shining star is just there. That's so crazy. That's such an amazing solution. Wow, wow, wow. That's so crazy and so unique. I love this puzzle so much. That's the first time I see such a solution for a puzzle. That's amazing. Well done, Rex, for the uniqueness of the solution. And I am quite lucky that I started to solve this puzzle a bit late today. That's so crazy, such a coincidence. I'm so happy to see such a unique solution for a puzzle. It's not that hard, but you need to think about it, actually. That's so nice. That's so nice. I'm so happy to manage to solve this puzzle, but you really have to think about it so hard. That's amazing. I love it. And yeah, it will not be so hard to put it back together. It's quite straightforward. So let's do that. And we put back our piece like this. And we can see again the white coin through the target. Amazing puzzle solved. I'm so happy that I managed to solve the Mindanao puzzle. And another puzzle solved. And I'm so happy that I solved such a unique puzzle. Never done a puzzle like this before. And I'm so glad to have tried one of your puzzle strikes. So amazing. So well thought of solution. I loved it so much. I love the story around it. And I'm quite excited. I want to try more of your puzzle strikes. I hope you enjoyed the video and the intro. If so, put a like on this video. Also, a big thank you to my sister-in-law who provided me all the footage of our travel in Chargao. If you want to check our channel, which is travel vlog related, then I will put our channel in the description below. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't yet to see more of this kind of unique puzzle. I see you next week for a new video. Tschüss! For a star to be born, there is one thing that must happen. A gaseous nebula must collapse. So collapse, crumble. This is not your destruction. This is your birth.